Well, the holidays are upon us, and nothing means Christmas more to me than hearing the tale of Twas the Night Before Christmas. Gather the family round, and let's hear that wonderful tale from long ago. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house was the smell of creatures cooking, yeah, even a mouse. The stockings were hung made of squirrel hide and hair in hopes that the critter getter soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of playstations danced in their heads. The wife in her sexiest mama t-shirt and me in the buff had just settled in for some kissing and stuff. When out on the lawn was the sound of a truck, I sprang from the bed to see what the truck was doing. Away to the window I ran with my gun, tore open the shutter and hollered out, where are you son of a? The moon on the snow was glowing so bright, it looked like afternoon in the dead of the night, when what to my booger crusted eyes should appear but a Toyota truck in eight giant beaver. With a long-haired driver wearing a thong of deer hide, I knew right away this must be that guy. Had an eagle on his shoulder that rolled up his smoke, which he shared with his beavers who all took a toke. Now Petey, now Jerome, now Z-Dog and Ray, on Jasmine, on Cinnamon, on Heather and Jade, in the bed of the truck or anywhere on the pole. Now dance away, dance away, dance away, y'all. They danced up a storm until winds of hurricane did fly. When Scott told the beavers it was time to get high. So up to the rooftop, the beavers, they flew with a sleigh full of caster and Scott Sisko too. And while I was tinkling, I heard on the roof the climb and scratching of each beaver foot. As I pulled up my shorts and was turning around, down came the chimney. It was Scott Sisko. He came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, covered in tats, then proceeded to ask me where my wife was at. A bundle of toys were stashed in his pack. He giggled and told me he'd be right back. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose, like a cherry. Had drool in his mouth from a dip of Copenhagen, and his beard was kind of splotchy because he was using that dye again. The stump of a pipe he held in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and wildlife tattooed on his fingers which crushed in your bones while shaking hands. All oh, the pain, it did linger. He was fit and in shape, a right jolly old trapper. We laughed when he told me he brought me a clapper. But a wink of his eye and a turn of his head soon let me know I had something to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled my wife's stockings, that fur-wearing jerk. He gave me the finger and ran out the door. He said he'd be back in 364. He jumped in his truck and called for the beavers. My wife said, thank God, but I didn't believe her. And I heard him yell out, don't ever forget, educate, understand, and respect. Merry Christmas, y'all. I know if you've been naughty or nice. <laughs>